Hi, this is Chris from Discovery Learning. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can expand upon your choice of fonts that can be selected from when generating your LearnDash course certificates. By default, the number of fonts that you have to choose from to create your LearnDash certificates is very limited. The certificate module itself is produced by a separate program tied into LearnDash called TCPDF, which you will find in the LearnDash folder structure under Includes, Vendor, TCPDF. If we click into the fonts folder, you can see the choices here include Helvetica and Times New Roman. Not a great choice overall, but I'm going to now show you how you can import your own custom font files to use with the PDF generator. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the font that I want to use. And I'm here on fontscroll.com, which is a site where you can download 100% commercially free to use font files. I'm going to pick something which is clearly distinguishable from the default font files in LearnDash, like a handwriting style font. And this tip I'm sharing only works with true font type files, which are TTF files. So make sure you are grabbing a TTF file when you are finding your font. So with that now downloaded, I'm going to head over to this handy website. The link is displayed on your screen for you to find this. And this is an online conversion tool which will transform our TTF file into the PHP source files that we need in order to be compatible with the LearnDash certificate module. I will click this button to choose the TTF file that I have downloaded and you might need to extract this file from a zip file first. Then I will give a name to the font which is easier to use in my certificate editor in LearnDash. So I will just go for cartoon then tick the Write box and the Convert button. Now that the conversion is done, I have three files to download by clicking each of these three buttons. Okay, so now that we have our font files, we will just need to upload them into our TCPDF's font folder on our web server so that they sit with all of the other font files that are available within the LearnDash module. We're now ready to go back into LearnDash itself and complete our certificate in HTML. So this is my certificate, which you might have seen in a previous video. I'll quickly show you what this looks like right now to the user in another window. And notice that we have the default font style running throughout. So now all I need to do is include the new font family CSS style into the tag generating the text where I want to use my new font. So here is where my course name is generated, for example. I will type into this CSS style font family, colon, and the word cartoon in quotation marks. Now go ahead and click the publish or update button. And now that the page is refreshed, let's go take a look at the results in my learner view. And now I have refreshed my certificate on screen, you can see that my cartoon font is in place. I hope that you found this video useful for your own LearnDash project. Before we finish, it is very important to note that because we had to copy files into the LearnDash plugin folder in order for this to work, any version updates you make in the future will override your font files. So make sure that you have a backup of those files in order to copy into any new version of LearnDash. If you like this video, please subscribe to our Discover eLearning channel to see more videos like this in the future. And also please follow us on Twitter, we are at Discover eLearn.